Hey everyone, it's Viv again, and today I am going to talk about the packs in their user shop and discuss what's worth it and what's not. In the end, I'm also going to spend some money, so <laughs> stick around. Okay, so let's start with what's least worth it. In the user shop pack here right now, the most least worth it items would be the offerings pack. So we have the offering pack M, medium, and we have the offering pack B, which is I assume would be big. Now why are these two packs not worth it? You can get offerings by spending diamonds in the wedding event right now, and um, it's uh, really up to you, but for me, I would much rather spend diamonds, which some of them are for free, than spend real money, which is why I do not think it's worth it to buy these. But offering packs are worth it for newer players who do not have a big wardrobe, who find themselves constantly losing in the wedding event arena. So if you are one of those people, then it might be worth it to buy it from here. But keep in mind that the um, wedding suits will always return, okay? The wedding event is reoccurring, so uh, if you do not see a suit that you like here, like the previous suits, don't worry, it'll be back. Uh, so yeah, that is the offering packs. I do not think it's worth it. Number two second least worth it thing I think would be the chocolate made pack so this would be for $2.99 $3 and you will get 150 diamonds and 150 VIP EXP so VIP EXP to dollar ratio meh it's not that great but you get the chocolate made right here now um chocolate made it's cute. She is super cute. I've seen my friends with this and it is adorable. But for me, the reason I'm not buying it is because I already have a chibi at my home. I have the Poetic Future chibi. So I think I'm good with her right now. So I will leave the chocolate made for now. Maybe in the future. But um, right now, I'm not too into my home. And also, um your housing item doesn't add any stats to your wardrobe oh man it would be like massive pay to win <laughs> if it does but um for now we're good i'm good on a chocolate mane i am not getting it it's just for decoration anyway and then uh next oh, let's talk about this uh, princess bonus pack um dollar to vip exp ratio it's pretty good like usually for a dollar you would get 50 vip exp but you get 60 here um uh, for me i am skipping on this one though because you get the 10 lucky bonus item which um ups your princess item drop um for me i i would just prefer taking advantage of the 2x going on in the weekend so i am going to skip on this one okay uh next now these are more worth it and it would be the Four packs on the top row right here. We have Windy Pack, Woody Pack, Fiery Pack, and Hilly Pack. One dollar each, and they will give 50 VIP EXP and a recipe to craft these uh, little guys shown here. Now, which one of these are worth it? Um, they're all about the same. Just get whichever one you like. But if you're looking for top scoring items. The fiery dude is top scoring in two chapters and the hilly dude, the tiny mountain, is top scoring in two chapters. They're not that significant but, you know, top scoring nonetheless. I already have the windy pack dude right here. Um, so I am going to buy woody pack, fiery pack, and hilly pack but I am going to wait until the last day to buy them and this is like a neat little trick so it says five days left right so when you buy these packs it's going to show up in your mailbox and the trick is to save them in your mailbox and wait for a 
cumulative recharge event to come. That way, the VIP EXP here, when you claim it in your mailbox, it will be applied to that cumulative recharge event. So it's like getting a discount on the next suit that costs money. So yeah, that's a neat trick. I am definitely getting all of these. However, I am waiting for the last day to get it. Alright, so that is all four of the packs right here. R keep in mind, these are recipes. You aren't getting like the actual item, but they are super, super easy to craft. So do not worry about that. Up next, let's talk about the maple accessory pack. Is this worth it? $1 for 50 diamonds and 50 VIP EXP. And you get all of these stuff too. Maroon Autumn Win, Flavor of Autumn, Lord Fox Lost Kitten, Work in Autumn, and Maple Viewing. Woo! That is a lot of items. Just seeing all these items alone, yes. I would say this is absolutely worth getting. Now, not a lot of these are top scoring items. The only top scoring would be the Lord Fox, and this is top scoring in two chapters and one commission request. Still, for all of these items here, I absolutely think that this is worth it. And again, uh, this contains the VIP EXP. I will buy this on the very last day of the event as well and I'm buying it on the very last day to just take a take advantage of the time left because if I buy like any of the packs right now it would only stay in my mailbox for 30 days if I wait until the last day it sort of like extends it you know to 35 days because it's five days well it's not 35 days but you know like um when it's in my mailbox, it's gonna say five days, and then it, it's, it'll be in my mailbox longer, if that makes any sense. Wait for the last day to buy it, wait for a cumulative recharge to come, and then claim it. <laughs> Alright, so this is definitely worth it. I'll buy it later. Up next, the most worth it pack that you can get in the user shop would be... The Miracle Deal Pack. This is a $1 pack. It says limited right here, but it doesn't show a expiration date. Hmm. Oh well. If you click here for 99 cents, you will get all of these right here. You will get this beautiful dress. You will get 150 stamina, 150 diamonds, 25 star coins, 35,000 gold, 8 pavilion tickets, 50 VIP EXP, 500 heart tickets, and 8 of these um, home gacha tickets, all for 99 cents. And it says 2,500% value. Wow. <laughs> I, I believe this. This is a very good deal. The best deal you can ever find in a user job. Okay, so this is 99 cents, right? And you get all this. This same pack right here for 99 cents, like, you don't even get diamonds here. <laughs> like, what? And it's only 30 VIP EXP. Over here, you get 50. And you get all of these stuff right here. So, yeah, this one is so, so worth it. And for that reason, I am going to buy this pack right now. Also, I feel like it's a good time to buy it now because of the stamina and, you know, the wedding stamina event going on. So let's hit that buy now button. It's gonna recharge. Buy item. And yay! Dun 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 dun. Alright, so the pack is gone from here now. Which means I've bought it, and it should show up in my mailbox. Here it is. Gift shop delivery. <gasps> All this for a dollar? Oh, man. I feel like I'm stealing from Love Nikki. This is so worth it. So uh, what I really care about now is the stamina. Because of the wedding event going on. But I will not claim this and I will show you how this 1001 night dress looks like. So claim! 
Whoa, okay, so I immediately got everything. I got the go, 150 diamonds, 150 stamina, 25 star coins, 50 VIP EXP, 8 fantasy tickets, 500 heart tickets, 8 wish coupons, and 1,001 night. Woo-wee! Okay, first up, let me show you how this dress looks like. Uh... First one here. Here she is. Let me strip her actually. So beautiful. I love this dress. Let me uh, pull my hair back so you can see. Get a better view. Oh yeah. What a pretty dress. Now this dress isn't top scoring anywhere, but it's still gorgeous. And the pack by itself, like even without this dress, it's so so worth it. So I would highly recommend buying it. It's just a dollar anyway. It's so cheap. So cheap. Okay, so yeah, that is all. I am going to use my 185 stamina on the happiness event. Um, if you are participating in the happiness event, good luck. Uh, let me know where you are because I am working, working on the gothic bride and I am so close. Almost done. I where I am going to finish this today. <laughs> Alright, that is all I have. If you want to see more Love Nikki content, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye!